Isabel makes love upon national monuments with style and enthusiasm at anyone at all. Isabel's done Stonehenge and the Houses of Parliament, but so far little Isabel's never played the Albert Hall. <laughs> Many a monolith has seen Isabel, her bright hair in turmoil, her breast surging swell. But unhappy Albert, so far denied the bright sight of Isabel getting into her stride. The Cenotaph, Balmoral and Wembley, the British Museum and the House of Lords. So many ticks in her National Trust catalogue, but so far the Royal Albert Hall has not scored. Countless cathedrals can now proudly show where Isabel's white shoulder blades have briefly reposed. But miserable Albert, still waiting for the imprint of Isabel on his parquet floor. In Westminster Abbey she lay upon a cold tombstone, the meat in a sandwich of monumental love. With old pole face words were thun blinking beneath, and a bright eyed young archdeacon breathless above. Many a stony faced statue has flickered its eyes, swayed to the rhythm of her little panting cries. But oh, wretched Albert never yet has known Isabel's pretty whinnying echo round his dome. night of the promenade she waved to the conductor and there and then on the podium with scarcely a pause with a smile and a bow and a loud rule Britannia he completed her collection to enormous applause <laughs> rapturous Albert now knows full well he's captured forever Eliusus Isabel prettily dishevelled firmly installed Faithful forevermore to the Royal Albert Hall, no more frantic scrambles of the Dome of St. Paul's, no more dank rambles on Hadrian's Wall, with style and enthusiasm, anyone at all, Isabel makes love in the Royal Albert Hall.